What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and happy almost Halloween. Uh, I thought it would be a lot of fun to make, like I found this uh, this turban squash at the grocery store and I was like, all right, I have to put something in this thing for the holidays. So then I was like, all right, what do I wanna put in it? I really wanted to do pasta, of course. And so um, I made a pumpkin Alfredo sauce which is basically just my Alfredo sauce recipe that I gave you guys before. Um, but there's three quarters of a cup of canned pumpkin that I mixed into it. It is so delicious and so I'm just really excited to eat. I haven't eaten anything all day and I had a really uh, good workout this morning. So let's just get to it. Oh, and there's fettuccine in here. So let's get... I haven't mixed it in yet because I kind of wanted you guys to see the, the sauce. My hand's shaking, it's heavy. <laughs> All right, let's start with that much and see how much is actually in here. Let's add a, a little bit more sauce. <laughs> Guys, are you not epically excited? Pumpkin Alfredo, have you ever heard of this? I just made it up. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta start eating <laughs> before I die. I have extra sauce just in case things get a, a little dry up in here. <gasps> okay. Ooh, I'm gonna get a spoon. <sighs> Got a spoon. Also, I'm like hardly wearing any makeup today. Sorry. I'm so excited. First bite. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need this. Guys, that is so freaking good. I don't know why I haven't made this before because pumpkin and Parmesan cheese go so well together and I had nutmeg to my Alfredo sauce already. Obviously nutmeg goes well with pumpkin. <clears throat> this is epic.
Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it is so good. Oopsies. The pumpkin's actually really subtle, but I like it. Like you can just taste a hint of it. Of course you can add more pumpkin in if you want to taste more pumpkin. I just didn't want it to be too squashy. <clears throat> also, you could totally add like a bunch of other cheeses to this and it would just be pumpkin mac and cheese essentially. This kind of already is. I put like two cups of parm. My other recipe calls for a cup and a half. Shit all over me, per usual. This is hitting the freaking spot. So Shane took me on a date last night and <clears throat> he didn't tell me where we were going. He's just like, let's have a babe night, get ready, you have to be ready by this time, which I like absolutely love when he does that. And so first he took me out to dinner and I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but he does not drink like at all. And he never suggests that I drink, like he doesn't care that I ever drink, which honestly isn't that often anyways. But when we got to dinner, he's like, you should get a whiskey flight. And I'm like, like he never suggests alcohol. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, maybe I'll have, maybe I'll have a cocktail. So <clears throat> I ended up getting a cocktail. Actually I got two. And after dinner, he still like wasn't telling me where we were going. But then we show up and it's this haunted basement in Minneapolis, I think it's actually called The Haunted Basement. Hold on. I like, cannot get a small bite to save my life. Oh, I have a glass of water I didn't tell you before. Not my usual kombucha. <clears throat> Anyways, so we get to this haunted basement, but before you go in, they tell you you have to take all of your earrings off, all of your rings, so I had to leave my engagement ring in the car nothing like loose on you and then you have to like put everything in a bin and and then you have to have a pep talk before you go in so there's this whole list of rules and basically 
in this haunted house, they're allowed to touch you and do things to you. And we get like the spiel, basically the same thing that the rules were. Don't make sexual comments to the people inside. They are allowed to touch you. They gave us the safe word, which was uncle. <laughs> and so I'm freaking out. We finally get inside. This is so glorious. And this was actually pretty easy to hollow out, by the way. You, there's like this, it looks like there's a squash growing out of the center of it. You just cut around it and then stick a spoon in there and kind of like wedge it out. I am totally putting something in this for Thanksgiving. Anyways, <clears throat> so we finally go inside and they pretty much immediately split us up. So Shane and I walked in together and then they took me and they put me with another girl and then they like danced us out. Meanwhile, Shane's face is being like pushed through a mesh wall and people on the other side of it were like touching him and stuff. So the first lady that I come up to is this like train conductor who's like obviously dead and like robotic talking like, hello, I need something of value before you can enter. Hello. And she would just like keep repeating herself until you gave her something. But we had given all of our stuff to like the people before we went in. So I ripped out a piece of my hair <laughs> and gave it to her and she let me pass. From there, it was a series of like different themed rooms. So like there's a room with a butcher that's like butchering humans and what they would do, like instead of just walking through the haunted house, they like put people in coolers filled with fake, like with fake blood all over it. They picked this one chick up flipped her upside down and shook her. They took me into this room and had some random dude that was just there with people that he had gotten separated from and they just like screwed my hair up. <laughs> like, meanwhile, there's people that are just kind of like going between rooms so like they'll go from one room to the other room and they're just like creepy people that like follow you you see what i mean i cannot get a small bite whatever when in rome So I go into the next room and there's like a series of doors that have 
it's like once you're inside this little room, there's like another area where you can get let into like another small room before they let you out. And so this guy was like t putting me in different rooms. Like he put me in one and then take me out and put it in, me in another. Take me out, put me in another. And <laughs> the doors that they were like closing behind you were super like rough. And so I was getting like splinters all over my ass, like on my pants. And so as I'm like trying to like pick off all of these splinters, I feel something in my pants. And I'm like, what could possibly be in my pants? <laughs> so I reach down into my pants and pull out, I kid you not, a piece of wood. And I'm like, how the fuck? Did a piece of wood get into my pants? So I'm just like dying laughing. I'm like, okay, the splinters, there's no way like a piece of wood could have just like penetrated my pants. So that happened. <laughs> ah. Oh, come on. There we go. A, a normal sized bite. <laughs> Mmm. It is so creamy. Oh my goodness. So then I had another checkpoint. And it was kind of backed up because the checkpoint, they were only letting one person in or through at a time again. And when they let you through, you just saw this really dark hallway that you were supposed to go down with a light at the end of it. And you hear like chainsaws in the distance. <laughs> and if there's one thing that I'm like truly afraid of, it's the dark and like the unknown. And so I'm always like afraid at night. I don't like being home alone at night. It's just not, not my thing. And so we get up there, the lady wanted something of value. I ended up giving her a hug and she let me through. And I'm walking down this hallway and I get right before there, like where the brightness was at the end of the hallway, you could tell that there was like openings on either side. And so it was like, sure, that once I walked into that opening, somebody was gonna like jump out at me or scare me or something. And so I like stopped right before I got to the opening and all of a sudden I just jumped into the light and I'm like, ah! <laughs> As if to try to like scare them or something and then there was nobody there. So freaking good, oh my gosh. So <clears throat> once I go down that hallway, I go down another hallway, which is like really dark and I'm like, oh my God, something's definitely gonna pop out at me. And then it didn't. I end up in this like really dark room. Well, this other guy, his name is Derek. I come to like later find out. Derek and I like grab hold of each other in this dark room because we, we don't know where the exit is and they're obviously not telling us. And so we're just holding on to each other and these people have like, like feather duster things. I don't know what they were because we couldn't see, but they're like at our feet, like tickling us there, tickling us like everywhere. And like we couldn't get out. We like almost gave up hope. Like we like found a chain fence and that wasn't the way out. We like went the wrong way a couple of times. And like we finally found like what we thought was the exit. But there was one more room. And I thought it was actually like pretty cool what they did, but also like really terrifying. So you walk into the last room and there's this guy who kind of reminds me like Batman Begins. 
and he's got like you know like this kind of like the scarecrow mask on and there's like a really heavy strobe like a really slow bright strobe in there and so you don't realize that who's in there so you have your eyes open and when the strobe is like on you see the guy but then it shuts off but because it, it it was like it took a picture on your eyes and so when I closed my eyes when I saw him it was ingrained in the inside of my eyelids like the snapshot of this fucking scary guy like completely detailed it was the craziest thing ever and so I just shut my eyes and tried to like shuffle out <laughs> of that room as fast as I could because that that guy was like truly creepy and then we got out and I like I'd never even known what Derek looked like until we got out of the haunted house <laughs> I had no idea where Shane was so I was just hanging out with Derek until Shane got out of the haunted house and I guess I got pretty lucky because I didn't get anything on me and they're allowed to like put like fake blood all over you if they want, like on your clothes, on your face, in your hair, like whatever they want. And I just got like a small spot on my shirt. Shane comes out of the haunted house and he's literally dripping blood underneath his chin, on top of his head. He's got it all over his shirt. I'm like, what happened though? So that was our haunted house experience. Highly entertaining. I would definitely recommend you go. If you're a terrified person, again, they do have a safe word. And if you say it, you can't take, there's like no takesies backsies. If you say uncle, you're out of there. Like you're not allowed to be like, good in mind. Totally worth it though. Totally worth it. And if you go early enough, the glass blowing class is still on, so you can kind of like spy on them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this already existed. But I feel proud of myself for thinking to put pumpkin in my Alfredo sauce. <laughs> I'm sure it's not novel at all. <laughs> but it's so good. You guys seriously have to try this. <clears throat> and mac and cheese. Ooh. Can you imagine? Like Parmesan, Fontina, Gruyere. With like little mini shells. And obviously like the pumpkin and stuff. Mm. Whew. I'm pretty full. I think I'm going to call it here. I don't want to feel like complete crap later, but yeah, so delicious. You have to make this and you should totally buy this turban squash to put it in. I just think it's such a cool idea. I was having a conversation with Shane last night, actually. My mom makes this amazing corn chowder that she serves on Thanksgiving and she's got this really awesome pumpkin, like ceramic pumpkin bowl with like the lid and like this spoon that fits into a little slot and like it's like a ladle and we were pissed because we were like oh, we're gonna make sherry soup but what about the bowl we want the bowl <laughs> but now I think I'm just gonna buy a pumpkin and hollow it out right why not make some pumpkin seeds all right I'm gonna have one more bite actually it's really good And then I'm done, I swear.
<clears throat> Last bite. <laughs> Oh, yes. <sighs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this little show today and my story about the haunted basement which is in Minneapolis, by the way, in case you were wondering where I live or still didn't know. Um, I will post the recipe for this below. I'll actually just post the link for my Mafaldi and Alfredo recipe. Um, I will post, I'll, I'll link the, uh, the recipe up here as well. And it's, like I said, just adding three quarters of a cup of pumpkin. I would add a little bit extra cheese just because I, I think it balances out the sweetness of the pumpkin a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you guys have to freaking try this. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are not already following me on Instagram, I will put my handle right here. It is at the underscore hunger underscore diaries. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, I do hope, like recipes at home sometimes like this, but I really love to go out and try foods out and about. That's also what I do on my Instagram channel, by the way. I do kind of little quick uh, mini mukbangs, which I have now called mukboom. <laughs> so yeah, I love going out and trying different things. I'll do like uh, the top or best lobster roll in um, in Boston. I'll link that article right here. I went and did a Detroit one with um, Coney Island hot dogs and Detroit um, style pizza. I'll link that right here. Just like cool stuff like that in different cities. Um, and <clears throat> sometimes I will do eating challenges. Um, recently my fiance and I did a chicken nugget challenge. Um, I did do a calorie challenge at the state fair. So if any of that interests you, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I post, there's a little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. If you hit that, then you'll be notified every single time I post a video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much again for joining me. Happy almost Halloween. Um, let me know if you end up trying this recipe and I will be seeing you guys on Thursday for another video. I hope you have a great, great, great day, and I will see you guys soon.